Hello everybody, and welcome to my new Let's Play, where we'll be playing... Well, we're not even seeing the title yet, but we're seeing the copyright protection. This is the old school copyright protection that they had. What I have to do here is, well, back in the day, when you got the box, it came with a manual, of course. And in the manual, there was this uh, page that looked like red static. It didn't really make any sense, but it also came with uh, an actual little, like, magnifying glass that had a uh, red, like, sort of red clear plastic over it. So what you'd do is you would put that up against the red static stuff and images would appear. In this case, they'd be fingerprints along with names. And the purpose of that is you can't copy the manual along with the game and give it to someone else because uh, it's really inconvenient to have to guess whose fingerprint each one belongs to. You have to actually go to the manual and use the magnifying glass and look and pick before you can even play the game. So yeah, quite an intro. Sorry about that. Anyway, I have luckily a little PDF of the uh, manual right here. So let me check whose fingerprint is this. Let's see if I can just spot it. I believe this is the fingerprint of Moody Dijon. I was correct. Now let's watch the intro of Let's Play The Colonel's Bequest, a Laura Bow Adventure. She is amazing. Anyway, we have Colonel Henry Dijon. This is, uh, of course, the Colonel who that, well, that uh, the title refers to. And uh, we have lots of other characters that we'll all talk to. Um, in uh, the manual I have, it has a list of all the characters and a short biography, a short description of each one. So, as we meet each one and talk to them, I will uh, read each uh, description so you'll know who they are and uh, get an idea of who they are. We want to know everything we possibly can about each of these characters. That is important. The number one goal of this game is to figure out the motives of each character and uh, kind of figure out the whole whodunit thing. And anyway, we're introduced to our heroine, Miss Lara Bo. 1925 Tulane University. This is a real place, by the way. graphics and music. I know, I still love it. I could play games like this all day. And that's me. Who's this? And there's no voice acting, so you're just gonna have to read what's going on. This game is still a very scary game. Not the kind of uh, scary like Amnesia, this is more... Not as much jump scares, more as in that kind of blood-chilling, nervous, sweaty, scary. And 
as dated as the graphics are, it's still an amazing game. I don't care what people say. And just the place, this, this one takes place and it is the creepiest place you can imagine. Alright, we've been invited to... We're here, do We're to Lily's uncle's estate, Misty Acres. You have to have the uh, creepy butler. Yes. And of course, his name is Jeeves. Kind of stereotypical, but uh, it works. This is actually the creepiest he is during the rest of the game. He's kind of he's a normal guy, pretty much. They're just trying to give you a nice, chilly intro, and I think they do a good job of it. I'd be awkward around this whole family that I don't know. And then we have the Colonel and his maid. Move this. said that. That is the worst possible thing you can say. And yes, his name is Colonel Dijon, which is, of course is a uh, pun for Colonel Mustard. This being a murder mystery and everything. him very much, do they? flapper thing going on even the walk. Act one. Yes, this will be split up in acts. Every time you hear that bell chiming, something important has just happened. And so as we can see, it's 7 p.m. right now. Actually, click now. All right. Mm -hmm. And 
I'm going to try to pause an appropriate amount of time on these text boxes. Um, if I go too fast or too slow, just tell me. Alright, so we have a notebook, which will be important. We'll be taking some good notes on those. And we begin, and as you can see, this is going to be a text-based adventure. It's parser based, so um, we can look. Let's see, look. Painting. I'm a horrible typist, so you're going to have to bear with me with that, but um, luckily you don't have to use words like at and stuff like that, so. Colonel Dijon. Hmm. Eyes. Huh. Look, eyes. Strange hollow look to them. That is interesting. And that is extremely important. Anyway, whenever I want to pause the game to say something, I'll just type something random in. And uh, I have some notes that I have um, on another page that you can't see right now. But um, first, let's do the short bio of Laura Bow, our protagonist. It says. Laura is a 20-year-old journalism major at Tulane University in New Orleans, a 19, 1920 ingenue. She's studious and down-to-earth, energetic and courageous. She's known for her inquisitive nature, probably acquired from her father, a detective on the New Orleans police force. So that's why she was wondering what her dad would do, because he's a detective. So, alright. And... Let's begin just escape from there. And we can walk around. I have been in the nursery. And now we have Ethel. This is where she's staying. So look. Oh, it just says, okay. Now, another thing that's really important, you have to be very, very observant. If you notice an object a person's carrying, if you notice something that kind of sticks out. Make sure to look at it. So let's look. Hanky. That's not how. There we go. Hmm. Even though it might seem kind of repetitive at times, it's, it's important to uh, observe every little thing. Actually, do you know what? I think this might be the same as the... Let me check something. This actually might be the same as the thing it says on the... Uh... Oh, no, it isn't. So here you can read that. And also in the um... manual, it says Ethel Prune, Lillian's mother, and the colonel's younger sister. Ethel is known for her whimpery, whiny nature. You can usually catch her in a rather tipsy state, and she gives the impression of being quite helpless. So she's our friend's mother, and she's also kind of a drunk. Alright. So every time that you look at somebody for the first time, you'll get uh, the in-game description. And then you can look at her again. Why well, don't know why. Relaxing room after a long day. Now here comes another important part. Um, the beginning of the game is going to be kind of full of this. We get to more the meat of the game later, but uh, for now we need to have uh, conversations with people and ask lots and lots and lots of questions. Um, I will expedite the process after this one, but I'm going to kind of show you what we're going to do. And I, I want to pause because um, you stand around for too long and she gets some leaves. I don't want her to do that before we have a chance to ask her questions. Actually, I'm going to save. You see we have this um, cool little saving thing thanks to ScumBM. So I, I hope I'm not going to be spoiling anything. I'll try to cut this out in the future, but showing you. Let's do... Alright, so... Ask about... And luckily, since she's the only one in the room, you just have to ask, say ask about. When there's more, more than one person, then you have to say, like, ask so-and-so about. And um, you want to go through all the characters. So uh, let's do that. Ask about, and I have the list right here, so it's going to be like an alphabetical order. 
silly. So, uh, we'll meet uh, Seely before too long. Clarence, who is actually the lawyer, I believe. I think we can... Oh, yeah, I just do control A and it automatically does ask about Henry, the colonel. Hmm. Let's see. Wilbur. Wilbur Fields, that's his name. That's uh, an unfortunate name for a doctor, Dr. Fields. Let's see. F. And it's really important to pay attention to what they're saying about each person to learn about them. Learn about who might have motives to do what's going to be happening around here. Don't want to spoil anything. Oh, we can't ask her about her. If you try to ask them about themselves, they'll all have the exact same response. I'm not going to discuss myself with you. They'll say that same exact thing. So, let's ask about Fifi, the maid. Alright. And, like, at uh, the end of each act, you actually kind of get graded as to how observant you are, how uh, inquisitive you are. So it's a good idea, and at the very end of the game, you kind of get a meter as to how good of a detective you've been. So let's ask about Gertie, or Gertrude, either one, either is fine. Hmm. So Gertie, I believe, is the widow of the colonel's son. We'll get to more about that later. And also the mother of um, Rudy and... Gloria. Don't worry, you'll uh, learn these characters soon enough. Let's ask about Gloria. Casting couch cookie. Gotta love the uh, 20s rhetoric. Alright. Jeeves. Hmm. Suspicious. About Lillian. Ah, Rudy. He's a gambler and a womanizer. Hmm. Remember that he's a gambler and a womanizer. Remember, yeah. Remember these details. Okay, and uh, we don't actually know who Sarah is yet. That becomes apparent later. Sarah does actually make an appearance in this game, but we'll ask about her anyway, and we'll discover who she is later. I don't want to spoil it, but her name's there. Hmm. She doesn't know who Sarah is. And also something, um, Dr. Fields has a bag. It's important to ask people about it, so we ask about his doctor's bag, or just his bag. Sometimes we get interesting answers. But sometimes they'll say something like, I wouldn't know about that. Now, what I plan to do after this is, um, I'll go through the questions and I will kind of, uh, cut out any I don't know about this answer. I'll cut out as much typing as possible so we can get through the question and answering as quickly as possible while still getting all the details that uh, you'll need to know in order to solve this mystery. So let's ask about estate. This place is pretty isolated. They had to take a boat here. And then we have Beauregard. I could Beauregard's the dog. You can just ask about dog. That's a lot easier. <laughs> ask about uh, Blaze, who's the horse that's on the estate. Save Henry's life in the war. And ask about Parrot. You want to ask about the animals too. The, the animals, I, I'll just spoil it for you right now. They aren't the murderers, but it's important to ask about them as well. And there's one more thing you do. As long as asking about people individually, you can also ask about um, relationships, such as Kerr. No. 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 And Fifi. Henry's an old fool. Hmm. Rudy, 
So these um, specific relationships that I'm asking about are important to know. I wouldn't know about that, so in the future I'll cut those out. Cecily and Lillian. So Celie's the uh, black servant, and uh, Lillian kind of confides in her, as we can see. Gloria and Clarence. Now, Gloria and Clarence, as we'll discover, are uh, in some sort of relationship. Gloria and Gertie, mother and daughter. She doesn't know anything about that. Rudy and Fifi. Hmm. So we have Rudy the womanizer and Fifi the maid. Let's see, Colin and All right. Gloria and Rudy, brother and sister. the doctor and the lawyer. Hmm, seems those two are up to something. Keep that in mind. And at last, Clarence and Gertie. They deserve each other. Clarence being the uh, lawyer and Gertie being the widow. That's interesting. What kind of relationship could they have anyway? I'm pretty sure... Let me check real quick while I pause. Alright, so I guess that's all we can do in here for now. I'm going to make this episode kind of long because there's something I want to show you, and we'll make the other episodes uh, shorter just like I did with uh, my last Let's Play. So, um, let's... I want to... Look. Shoot. Hmm. Open... Look inside. Look in. There we go. Hmm, I wonder where that leads. How about... We find out. Enter, shoot. Like I said, uh, in the coming episodes, I'll cut out me saving so that uh, if you see like sort of a jump cut then that's probably me saving because I'm going to do something like this that <laughs> did not end well hmm oh shoot yes there will be puns in this Alright, we're almost done. So let's uh, close. Shoot. And uh, Lily said she was going to go freshen up. Alright. Cat. Cool. And here's the bathroom. We just open up, we don't have a knock. She could have been, you know, doing her business, and we could have just been opening it up, but whatever. A modern bathroom. <laughs> Plum frazzle. <laughs> That's a nice little saying right there. Look, Lillian. Alright. Let's see what it says about her in the manual. Lillian Prune. Lillian is Laura's college classmate and the Colonel's niece. Her personality can be described as extroverted and rebellious. She drinks, smokes, and dates several young men. Ooh, scandalous. She dresses in the style of a 1920s flapper, as if we couldn't see that before. And uh, let's look at her again. So she's just freshening up. Let's use toilet. <laughs> shower. Or take 
shower. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, she's putting on some perfume. Sniff, sniff. Okay. Hmm, then we'll, uh... No. Oh, and she's leaving, so I can't do anything until that's done. And I always forget, I can look at things just by right-clicking on them. See a waste paper basket near the sink. Hmm. Look in the basket. Currently, it is empty. Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind. Let's see, now use toilet. Excuse us. <laughs> Leisure Suit Larry, yes, another Sierra game that, uh, is a possibility for the future, but, uh, We'll leave that for later. Oh, of course, we better wash our hands. Alright, and before I leave, let's save here. Let's take a shower. Clean ourselves up a bit. Chicky wow wow. Look at that 8 bit goodness. 16 bit, whatever this is. Mm, what's going on? Uh oh. <laughs> yes, you get a little psycho reference here. Well, that will be it for now, and I do plan to show more interesting deaths later. I plan on doing a lot more uh, cutting so that this process goes a little bit faster so um, you skip past the boring typing stuff and get to the nice juicy details of the game. And uh, one thing, if you want to go back, take a look at the silhouette that enters the door and just keep that in mind. Because that, actually, that silhouette, what you'll see, will be important. So anyways, that is it for now. This is the new game I'll be doing, and uh, it will be very, very interesting, I promise you. So, that's all for now. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day.